Hello, I'm Joycelyn Woods Griffo, and I am a member of the Campbell Culture Coalition, which is the organization that sponsored, wrote a grant for, and is organizing a youth outreach project in Campbell County. And we have some of the artwork from the first classes that were conducted this spring. We have classes that are still going on in a different subject. Children in the middle school uh, age, uh, but we do have some that were younger because we had middle school students who had little brothers and sisters that also participated. Most of these kids had never ever done any art before. The purpose of our program is to bring art to students that don't have it in our local school system on a basis because we are firmly believe we firmly believe that art produces abstract thinking and therefore enhances learning at all levels. Um, our grant uh, called for us to uh, find an instructor and with me I have Terry Shannon who has a degree in fine arts and she wrote a, um, a proposal that we really delighted uh, in uh, accepting because she suggested that we have the children uh, paint birds that could be found in Campbell County so that they not only paint them but they also learn to identify these birds. And our second session of classes, which is not yet framed and completed, are wildflowers found in Campbell County. But anyway, this wonderful teacher is doing a fantastic job with these kids, as you can see. So this is Terry. Hello, Terry. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, this is some of the kids' work. Um, the ages range between 7 and 14 years old. Most of them are younger. There are several that are only 7 or 8. Uh, this is a little 7 year old child. Nathaniel Pack. And the first day he was really discouraged but we kept going. And, and these kids gave me 110 percent and I, they discovered in themselves some talent I believe. And I have to say, this is my granddaughter, so I have to say that. This is a grandperson, grandparent thing. And so, I can and, relate to that. <laughs> but really, I'm proud of all of them. They accomplished a great deal in a short length of time. We had seven weeks to do this in. And um, the media was colored pencil for the bird part. This is my daughter. I don't know if you can see some of these details. This one and the blue jay. Uh, they had to get in there with something pointed and sharp, like a pencil, to get the detail. And then, once the bird was done, we changed media to pastel because it's so fast you can just whip it in there and get that background. If you try to do the background in pencil, it takes forever. So, we used pastel and it worked out great. And we found some money to get the mats done. And these kids need to be proud of themselves because I'm really proud of them. And they did a wonderful job. They were so excited. Outstanding. They just, uh, we watched the transformation. When we first started out, they were excited, and then they thought, oh, you know, we have to work at this. They kept working and working, and finally, when they began to see the bird pop, like the background, when that went in, they all went, wow! And their whole demeanor changed. And then when we got them matted and inside the cellophane and, and hung them the first time, I, one young lady who was probably, I don't know, 13 years old, stood in front of hers and cried because she said, it's so beautiful. <laughs> That's the gold coin for us who work on this as a volunteer. So uh, we're just proud of these children. We hope to be able to continue this program. Well, thank you all very much for your service to these children. Thank you. We enjoy it. Thank you for photographing us. We really appreciate letting others know. It's a great project. I appreciate that. Let me get the word out.